Use this class loadout right now in Warzone 2. Dude, that's my RPK, no fucking way. Alright, let's fucking go. Nah, no, keep put, keep holding that mountain, man. There's no one gonna kill you there. One coming out of gas, you're alive. Guys, camp. Run, run. He's dead. Getting shot from the up top, from sky. Getting shot from the sky. Did anyone just see oh, that clock kill? That building in front of you, Kenobi. Very top of the church. Requesting close in. Target marked. Copy, Phoenix. Strike him down. Splash. He was up there. No way. No way. I downed him up there. He's, can I, bro, he's got enough to buy someone else in too. You land on by. Good play, good play. There's a dude right here. It's terrifying. Crawl. Crawl. Kept the moving, the moving. Yeah, we gotta get these guys. Oh, I missed a shot, god damn it. them up, tagging them up. Hitting them with the mortar. Who's in here? Got one down. Dead. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan. Today I got you guys a quick video going over the RPK in Warzone 2. The RPK is one of the most overpowered weapons right now in Warzone 2. So you guys are going to have to use this loadout if you want to succeed in the game. So I'm running the RPK with the Akimbo uh, X13 autos. Uh, it's one of the versions that they uh, give you. It's that version right there. And then we're running the stim, drill charge, and vanguard perk package. Uh, the stim, because I do stims are very good for many different reasons. Um, getting, out of, getting out of storm, uh, pushing people, you know, pushing people when you're hurt already. Um, many different reasons. Uh, drill charge to get people out of some sticky situations because people like to camp and drill charges are really good. They penetrate the walls. So it's definitely recommended to use that if you are uh, playing Warzone. So let's get right into the RPK now. So the RPK, I'm running the Castovio DX90. And I'm running that with the uh, bolt velocity all the way up and the recoil smoothness all the way over. The phase 3 grip as the underbarrel recoil stabilization all the way up. Aiming idle stability all the way over. The high velocity 762 with the damage range and bolt velocity all the way over. The demo X2 grip with the rear grip for the rear, for the rear grip. Recoil steadiness all the way up and aiming idle stability all the way over. And the aim op v4 sight, and we do a flinch resistance all the way up and close for the eye position. You can do far, it doesn't really matter. All it does is it changes your perspective when you pull the gun up like this. I'll show you guys what a far does real quick. Far does this. That's basically the difference. It's not that big of a difference, but you guys can test it out. This weapon is insane, guys. It's overpowered, as you guys saw in the quick gameplay. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you did. And hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.